Coach, thanks so much for joining us. You've started off the 2021 campaign strong with a couple of sweeps, but how does it simply feel to get back out on the court? It's been a while since we've talked to you, and so much has changed during that span. Yeah, Alex, uh, firstly, thanks for having me and good to be uh, with you and, of course, uh, all uh, Longhorn uh, uh, Network viewers. And as your question would suggest, there's a lot of water under the bridge um, with COVID and what have you. And so just the idea that our athletic department has been able to safely and securely facilitate the ability to, to actually have a season felt incredibly good, certainly for an old beat up coach but more than anything for these young ladies who are so ambitious and this is what they love to do and they got to do it. What have you learned about your team early in the season after two matches? Certainly, um, we have a very, very excellent team. It's also the case that we have a very young team. So just by definition, there's a lot of learning and growth that needs to take place if we're to be a legitimately top team this year. But with respect to the strength and our talent line by line, I think we match up favorably on any given day with any team um, that there is in the country. You mentioned the freshmen. You do bring in the top freshman class in the nation. Take us through those individuals and, and their skill sets when you look at them. Um, so in no particular order, um, but uh, we've got Peyton Stearns out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Peyton has been very successful this fall. She got to compete in a $80,000 tournament and beat a young lady from South America who's made you know, a few million dollars playing tennis. And so Peyton already as a freshman is a world-class player, not just a college world-class player, but uh, world-class by anyone's standards. The thing that's striking about her when you get to see her play, she's terribly athletic and strong. But the thing that I've come to learn about her in this short time is oftentimes being so excellent comes with a sense of entitlement and not wanting to produce change. What a wonderful student, what a respectful young lady and just goes about all her business the right way. So. Um, she's an asset on the court, but also uh, as the hackney proverb goes in the locker room. The next one perhaps to talk about, Charlotte Chavadapon. My joke is I'd accidentally recruited her. I'd gone to Europe, to Paris, and to the French juniors to watch a different, an international player. And there I saw Charlotte doing amazingly and everything about her suggested everything that's good about college sports. In our sport, you often have uh, entourages accompanying these 17-year-old ladies. Charlotte was trekking through Europe on her own, very independent, very intelligent, and a lady who, in terms of her abilities, you watch her play, she's incredibly athletic, she has a huge serve, and the thing I love most about her, all of us in whatever career or job we have can tend to be a little ho-hum after a while. Charlotte brings a sense of wonder and joy to every match and every practice um, and is just, just a delightful person. So uh, her inclusion makes us better as well. Um, we've got a freshman from uh, our own backwoods up in Cedar Park, Malika Rapalu. Malika graduated a whole year early to, to join the Longhorns. The thing that's just astounding about her, she had participated in a small pro tournament we hosted a year ago and she lost the match nail scrapingly close and the look on her face after that match told me as a coach everything that i needed to know about her as a, a player and a recruit there was just such a soulful genuine despair and sadness at having lost she is just so relentless in the way she goes about it. She wants to be excellent. She wants to be the best. Lulu Sun was a finalist in the Australian Open Juniors down in Melbourne. Lulu is a ferocious competitor and devoted to her tennis. In the case of Lulu, you know, when you watch her play, she looks about as intense and serious as you can imagine. And it belies what a gentle and kind um, and, and really warm um, young lady she is. And our fifth one, uh, Kylie Collins from Savannah, Georgia, has just joined the group. Um, you know, this fall, she had wins in tournaments here and there in Florida, 
against some of the best players in college in the country. So she's certainly very capable, athletic, and Kylie has a very tough veneer. Um, so you watch her play and you don't want to mess with Kylie Collins. Um, and yet um, it belies underneath just an incredible leader, even as such a young lady. And when you talk about the freshmen, obviously a talented group, but how about one of the premier veterans in the country, Anna Tarati? What is it like to have the number five player in the nation back for another season? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel incredibly fortunate and I think we still have got stuff to offer Anna. She had three classes to graduate and as you know, Italy was the first country decimated medically with the coronavirus and so Anna chose to not return this fall and come in the spring so she could play and finish her classes and to graduate. She is definitely one of the best players in the country. Certainly the most ferocious fighter that I, I, I've ever been fortunate enough to coach. And her experience, along with one or two of our other seniors, are going to be a big factor in relationship to how this team is able to grow and what they can offer the freshmen to help them grow. We're excited about another strong season. Heck, we're excited about a season at all, as we talked about. The, the, there have been a lot of delays, but the season is here. Texas Tennis off to a strong start at 2-0. Coach, it was great catching up with you, and best of luck. Thank you so much, and, and hook them.